Another day, another blockchain. This is a layer two solution to Ethereum. It doesn't have a token yet. We're hunting the airdrop, but I'm also just gonna show you what this chain is and what's unique about it. Specifically, we're gonna be diving into, or here's a good pun, opening up this scroll. We're gonna be looking at scroll.io today. It's a ZK EVM. You know, it's an Ethereum virtual machine. It's a scaling solution for Ethereum. They don't have a token yet. And what you would find to be similar to this would kind of be like Optimism and Arbitrum, but more so if you're familiar with ZK Sync Era or StarkNet. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through what this chain is, how to participate, and the exciting part is to very likely make yourself eligible for a future cryptocurrency airdrop and if it's anything like some of the airdrops of the past, this would turn maybe 15, 30 minutes of your time into thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars, sometimes even more than that. My name is Vosk. I'm a professional cryptocurrency airdrop hunter. I know, I know, it's, it's, it's a weird job. It's hard to explain at the family gatherings and when we go out for a couple drinks with a couple friends, but that's what we are. the native ZK EVM scaling solution for Ethereum. ZK rollups. You may not really even care for the tech and that's better suited to just break down in another video. The bottom line is this makes Ethereum faster and cheaper and uh, Ethereum is neither of those. So that's all right. That's why we have all these options. We've talked about ZK Sync era before, and I really highly encourage you to watch that video and participate with that, if for no other reason than to hunt the airdrop. We've also talked about StarkNet and have several videos on that, including a wallet guide. I encourage you to check that out and participate to become eligible for that very obvious incoming cryptocurrency airdrop. Now we're gonna be looking at Scroll, okay? They existed in 2022, but you probably never heard about them. They boast that they had over 397,000 unique addresses, over 6,300 unique contracts deployed, and over 600 unique tokens deployed with an average daily transaction volume of 32,000. They grew a lot, over 80K on Twitter, 120K on Discord. They shared their research at multiple Ethereum conferences. They boast that they've got an industry-leading ZK research resource through their blog. They've laid the foundation for their ecosystem. Even Uniswap governance has passed the temp check proposal and will be deployed on the testnet. Lens protocol deployed on their pre-alpha testnet and they've added support for graph protocol and safe. They're also partnering up with multi-chain org, hot protocol and orbiter finance to provide a low friction experience as they approach a permissionless testnet. That's solid, especially because their team, they really only show off their three co-founders. They even have a page or a Twitter uh, handle, Build With Scroll, where they share projects building in their ecosystem, which that's pretty cool. For example, there's Omni, and they've got some scroll deployment. We also have Linea, which we just talked about here on the channel. Starkware, Polygon, Arbitrum. I mean, you're starting to connect the dots, right? If Everyone's kind of focused on this and, and doing these things, you know. The reoccurring question is, when token? Bitcoin mining is really cool, but to be honest, it's loud, the devices are expensive, and there are some pretty interesting alternatives. Like I'm earning $60 a month in passive income after my electricity bill using this hard drive miner. It's small, barely any heat or noise, and it's profitable. Check it out with the link down below and save some money by using our coupon code BOSSCOIN. So without further ado, let's get started. So we're still early. We're still dealing with the test net. They don't even have a main net launched or live. And let's pause right there for a second because Arbitrum laid some really good recent updated foundation for cryptocurrency airdrop eligibility. You look at the eligibility, you see multiple transactions on multiple days, multiple months, you look at volume, you look at participating on this chain as well as this chain they had. Did you have any kind of test net activity, right? The more you do, the longer you do, and on the more things you do and the more smart contracts and dApps, decentralized applications you interact with, the not only will you increase your likelihood of just simply even being eligible at all, airdrops are best suited to be scaled. You do a little bit, you get a little bit of coin. You do a whole lot, 
you get a lot of coin. That's why we're here and not just being aware of scroll, but also participating with their test net. So first we need some test net Ethereum. Go early. We need to get there early. So they have this page right here and you can connect your wallet and you click MetaMask and you connect. Great, right? Uh, so you can add this test net to your MetaMask by clicking this. You can add the scroll alpha test net to your MetaMask by clicking this. I already have those there, so I don't need to click them. So the next step is we need to get some of our testnet Ethereum onto the scroll blockchain. I'm also going to assume that you know what MetaMask is, you have it set up, right? If you don't, watch our beginner tutorial guide on how to do that. And you also may be thinking, Vosk, you didn't even cover how to get that testnet Ethereum. Okay, well, great, good point. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you said that. I'm over here on Go Early Faucet, link down below. All right. Also, you need an Alchemy account because they're trying to stop spamming. Use our link for that. You get a hundred bucks towards their services for free. It's kind of like a why not and supports the channel. I open my MetaMask and I copy my address. I've already set up Alchemy and click sign in. Pretty simple, pretty easy there. So I'm going to drop my wallet address here. I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm not a robot. Send me some ETH. I'm going to fail. Let's try again. Click, click, click. Uh, it's close enough. And bam, we're in. And then we get an ad. Cool. And while you're here, you may as well stock up on some other testnet coins. So I can click over to Sepolia. I can say I'm not a robot. Punch these stairs in. Click verify. Give me some of that Ethereum. Okay, cool. Uh, how about Somatic? Sure. Uh, we don't even need to do a, a, a CAPTCHA check on that one. Oh, Mumbai, what are the apes doing here? It's real quick and easy and why not just stock up on some testnet coins, right? So now we have the testnet coins, cool. And now we can go back over to the bridge. You can see my balance is already updated. So I'm gonna put in 0 0.02 ETH here. I guess it thinks that's too crazy. I don't have too much coins. So let's go 0.01. And I'll send this from the Go Early testnet to the Scroll Alpha testnet. And I'll come in here and I think I'll be able to squeak by with a low fee. And I'll go ahead and click confirm on that. The Scroll Bridge is a fork of Hop Exchange. We've talked about Hop Exchange. We were airdrop hunting on it with Arbitrum. Uh, it's been a good experience. Hop does not support them yet. But they already tagged them saying that they partnered with them. More bridges is always good for an ecosystem. So this transaction is in process, estimated in four minutes over here. That's cool, fine and dandy. I've already bridged a bit of testnet ETH over to this chain. This is the block explorer. Uh, so you can go to blockscout.scroll.io and you can take your wallet address. All right, so I'll copy it. I paste it and it takes me to my page. Cool. So. This is where this video starts to slow down a little bit because again, we are quite early. So let's look at the ecosystem. How do we participate? What can we do? So you see Aave, you may be familiar with Aave. It's a huge non-custodial open source liquidity protocol. Basically you can come here and lend coins and borrow coins. Uh, you go over here and you look at the markets and scroll's not there. It's not on version two either. I mean, that makes sense. It's just a test net. Okay. We look at the governance and, you know, recently we, we don't see anything about scroll. Nothing. Huh. Are they really in their ecosystem? Are they building behind the scenes? I don't know, but I surely can't participate yet. So when you start clicking around in their ecosystem, right? I mean, we, they talked about Orbiter Finance. Well, do they support Scroll yet? No, Scroll's not here. What about Stargate? That's another bridge we've talked about, and that uses layer zero. So we're hunting all kinds of blockchains by using this. Let's go to the transfer. What kind of networks we got in here? 
Okay. No surprise, the test net's not there, and surely Scroll's test net is not there. So you start looking around, and you're like, ah, guys, oh, maybe this DeFi thing, All right? Rhinofi? Let's launch the app. You, you got Scroll test net support? You, m maybe? We'll connect the wallet and, and check it out. So we link the wallet, verify ownership. All right, so we're gonna check the privacy. It's a signature request. Doesn't cost anything. We're gonna enable trading. Okay. All right, simple enough. And we'll skip this for now. We'll also leave off our first deposit. So we don't have any funds on here. Ethereum, Polygon, Arbitrum, BSC. Looks like they're powered by Arbitrum, Polygon, ZK Sync, BSC, a couple other chains, but hold on a second. Nope, nope, none of those look like a scroll. So that's kind of the thing here is we're so early, there's not that much to do, but even just bridging to the testnet is a good thing to do. You can dig deeper. You can join their Discord server. You can, you know, try some of these testnet dApps that they do have on their chain. I invite you to join the Voscoin Discord server as well as their Discord server because there are things to do, but it's just not all that obvious or easy. And to be frank, and this was a roundabout way to get here, I think just bridging some coins over and being aware, maybe throwing them a follow on Twitter to just see when they bring a main net or really anything, right? I think that's good to go. I don't really want to do too much if I don't really need to. I mean, we can see that there's a lot of transactions going through, uh, you know, every every day, I mean, daily transactions, 360,000. They already have almost 2 million blocks and over 4 million wallet addresses. So, you know, we'll see, time will tell a good data aggregator, 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 uh, for stuff like this is DeFi Llama. Uh, they haven't added any sort of support here uh, for scroll yet. And I mean, this is a really useful tool, even for smaller chains, right? Um, I mean, we look at ZK Sync, right? We were talking about ZK Sync error earlier. We look at this, we can see the TVL, uh, we can see other metrics we can see i mean they're getting a lot of applications here where just you know a couple weeks ago when we made our video there's only a few options but when you put in zk sync it'll bring you there when we put in the scroll it's nothing right so let's just let's keep it old school we punch in scroll no server error and on that error note it's time for me to head out and check on my ceo my chief error officer here at the voscoin youtube channel we'll revalue c titles as high as any major corporation 10 seconds of tales we do it on every freaking video it's raining here and the super pup doesn't like storms especially when the water you know the water drops kind of blow and hit the windows kind of freaks her out she gets a little sad she gets a little scared she goes in a corner or in a crate and if the storm's bad or if there's lightning or thunder, she starts doing the full body shakes. It's just tragic. I wish I could, you know, just alleviate her of this. But, you know, we try to support her, calm her down. Even tried a, a thunder uh, jacket and stuff before. But uh, it's just ingrained in her. She hates these storms. But I hope that you love this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, that's all I got today.